Hey, so you, you know, we, we hear a lot of crazy stuff on YouTube. And uh, also, you know, in comment sections and stuff. Um, people say some ridiculous things. But some of the, some of the work salvation crowd, you know, and I'm hearing this more and more from them, where they claim that most people believe in once saved, always saved. And... <laughs> Oh, uh, no, most people believe like they do. They believe in work salvation, okay? In Matthew 7, 22, um, the many, many that are going to call Jesus Lord and brag about their works, they're bragging about their works, okay? They're many wonderful works, and... What's interesting is that in Matthew 7, 22, nobody is bragging to Jesus about once saved, always saved, and, he, and him saying, you know, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, I never knew you, okay? He's saying, I never knew you to the people who were trusting in themselves, okay? He never knew those that never accepted the gospel, that never believed the gospel, and the will of the Father is that you believe on the Son, okay? And in verse 13 of Matthew 7, Jesus said, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it, okay? And, you know, j just think of, you know, all the denominations going around pretending to be Christians, okay? The Church of Christ, they believe in baptismal regeneration, and they believe in work salvation, okay? See, they don't believe in eternal security. Um, the Pentecostals believe in work salvation. A lot of them think, she, think you have to, you know, speak in tongues or you're not really saved. That's ridiculous, and no, they do not believe in eternal security. Um, even Martin Luther taught in baby baptism, okay? And he taught you have to repent of your sins. I have his right, some of his writings. Um, and, you know, every now and again, I run into a Lutheran that believes in faith alone, but most of them don't. Most of them believe in some kind of works. Okay, um, the JWs, they don't even believe Jesus is God, okay? And they believe in works. They believe you have to be a JW or you have no chance. You know, the Roman Catholic Church, hardcore works, okay? They also teach that you have to be a Catholic and a bunch of other things. That's not once saved, always saved, Okay. Who else? The Seventh-day Adventists. They, they think that you have to, you know, keep the Sabbath. And, you know, they, they teach that, you know, if if you go to church on Sunday, that you're that's the mark of the beast. And Look, does, does that sound like, like eternal security to you? No. Most people believe in works, okay? And that's why I was cracking up earlier, you know, because I see through this obvious bold-faced lie that, you know, some of these lordshippers try to teach that, you know, most people believe in eternal security. That's ridiculous, okay? I'm, I'm knocking doors tomorrow, okay? For sure, the vast majority of the people I'm going to run into do not believe in eternal security. Um, I wish they did, but they don't. Um, most people trust in themselves, okay? And even most Calvinists, right? You know, they'll say it's once saved, always saved, but then they'll, you know, they'll, they'll backload works and act like, well, if you don't have the works, then, you're, then you weren't really saved to begin with. Maybe you're not one of the elect. And, you know, they'll 
and they'll preach work salvation. That's that's not eternal security. Okay, so it, it's it's almost hilarious to to say that that most people believe in eternal security. And it actually would be really hilarious until you think it through and then you realize, oh man, those people are going to burn in hell when they die. If, if, they don't, if they don't quit trusting in themselves and believe the gospel instead, right? Because when you believe the gospel, you come to the realization that your works... Are a disaster. They're not sufficient for you to go to heaven. And you've sinned. You've come short of the glory of God. You've offended God. And in the eyes of an almighty God. You deserve hell for your sins. That's something you deserve. There's nothing you can do about that. But God loves you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. The Father sent the Son. To be the propitiation for your sins. Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh and he lived a perfect sinless life and he died for all your sins on the cross was buried and rose again on the third day. Most people deny the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Most people don't actually believe that he paid for all their sins. They think maybe he paid for some of them, but not all of them. And Look, he paid for all of them. Okay, all of them. Jesus is the Savior. He's the promised Messiah. We have the forgiveness of sins and redemption through his blood. His blood was shed for you on the cross. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord you know most people they'll think of eternal life and for some reason they don't take it at face value you know it's crazy most people read the book of John if they read it at all and they'll look at it and look at all the times it says everlasting life and eternal life And they just want to add their filthy, dead, wicked works to that. Even though, even in John chapter 3, verse 19, Jesus said that the deeds of man are evil. God's not impressed with your filthy rag. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thine house.